Alright, Rusty says he's got a four inch target. So well, we are, we're along an old sidewalk. You can see it. Down just through here. Trash. Right on. So we had some iffy signals here. We uh, have learned that uh, trash masks silver in the last couple of years. So here we had a real iffy signal, and uh, we was picking up a good signal along with some some iron and some zinc sounds. But we had one little crisp crisp silver sound in here. So we uh, went ahead and dug it reluctantly and wound up flipping silver out of the hole. What do you got, Rusty? I think it's a Merc. I think it's a Mercury Dime. Yeah. Is it Merc? 1920, I'm guessing. I don't know if you can zoom in on it. It's starting to rain. We need to get out of here. Yeah. All right, very good. Okay, folks, today we're out in an old grove where folks used to come and picnic and do all sorts of stuff back in the early 1900s, late 1800s. Uh, Rusty was out here digging the other day, well, yesterday, found an Indian head, some wheats, barber, and a, in, uh, what else? Indian head? I'm picking it up. Yeah, an Indian head from 1905. So he brought me back to this spot where he dug the coins and I tried it with my new e trek I picked it right up, and then I had him try it with his F4, and he picked it up. Looks like it's about seven or eight inches. I think a little bit to the right, my right. being stingy you want to help with this because there it is, is. Hang on. Wait, hang on. <laughs> that's it yeah. Oh, yeah hang on I think I got some water right here looks like you. a barber Nineteen oh seven. Cannot find eighteen hundred silver for me. Rusty can, but I cannot. Awesome. Well, I've had the e-trick for about two and a half days. This is a half silver here, but uh, it's found uh, one, two, three, four, three and a half silvers now. Great. Well, it's been about an hour. And that's the only thing we found, but I just want to show you a spot of this little, this little grove of trees. Across the road, there's a, oh, at least an 1880s farmhouse. We're going to do that here before we leave. Just taking a little break, getting a drink. We go up here in this hill right over here and check this out. We'll get back with you. Well, not a great find, but we made it up here on this hill and. Came down this little two track here. Got a coin at about six, seven inches, wound up being a 1919 weedy. Okay, guys, for the last couple of days, I've been metal detecting along the railroad tracks. And there used to be an old depot here. But this is just a testament to the E track. This ground over here is cluttered with iron, it's cluttered with pop cans, pull tabs, nails, pieces of copper, uh, just, just a crazy amount of stuff. You could rake this ground here and uh, come up with enough scrap metal to pay for an e-track probably. Um, I didn't get it on film unfortunately, but the other day right over here, five days of owning my e-track, I dig my first seated coin, an 1890 dime. Followed up by a 1906 Barber and a 1907 Barber, and today I came back out and uh, spent a lit, just oh, about 15 minutes and uh, 
It's a really cool find if I can find it again because I left it right on the ground. Oh, here we go. Laying right on top of the ground was an 1899 Barber. I didn't see it with my eye, but the detector picked it up out of this crud. And uh, it's exciting to have one of these machines now. If you're on the fence about one, bite the bullet and get it. It's amazing. It's amazing how it can filter through this and find the good stuff. And I'll show you my seated coin real fast because, you know, I've been carrying it for good luck. And it is well worn, but I am here to tell you that I am the proud papa of this bad boy. Nothing to write home about, but it is an 1890 seated dime, and I am ecstatic over it. So I'll get back with you if I find anything else. All right, today we're metal detecting close to downtown. Got my first decent nickel signal with the new e trick And, uh, you can see it right there. It's, uh, 1920, possibly. I'll let you find something else. Okay, right, got another coin signal. It's a three incher. Let's see if we can't pluck it out real fast. That'll hold it's just a weedy, but let's see what year it is. Doesn't look to be too old. Yeah, 50s. 50 something or another. Just wanted to show everybody the finds for the first week of the e track You got eight silvers, two nickels, and eight Indians. It was about 22 hours on the e track Now, what I'm not showing you is all the junk I dug and a handful of Wheaties but wish I could have got it all on film just didn't have the time to tote all the equipment around thanks for watching everybody